We're here in beautiful Santa Margarita, California, and today is the first time the Peterson Automotive Museum is going to put some of its crown jewels on the drag strip and not hold back. The eight cars behind me are going to go down this drag strip and hopefully set some records against cars you wouldn't expect. This is the Peterson Automotive Museum's ultimate head-to-head. -head. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let's rewind before we start racing. Let's talk about these two extremely important Fords in front of you. The first Ford is an original 1967 Mark III GT40. Now for anyone that's seen Ford versus Ferrari, this is the homologated or road going version of that exact car. Ford took victory at Le Mans in 66, 67, 68, and 69. And this 67 is one of only seven Mark III's built for the road, and one of only four that was left-hand drive. Under the bonnet, it features a 289 V8 with just over 300 horsepower. And there's no technology in this car, but the technology of its day was to be extremely lightweight and have this 300 horsepower power plant pushing it along the road. A quick fun fact, the 40 in GT40 is representative of the inches off the ground. So this GT40 is only 40 inches off the ground. Herbert von Kajan was one of the composers of 2001 Space Odyssey and was the original owner of this particular car that now belongs to the museum. Now, let's get into the Ford GT from 2005. Paying homage to the original Ford GT40, the 2005 Ford GT was built as a concept to celebrate Ford's 100 year anniversary. And if you look real close at the driver's side headlight or the left headlight, you'll see that the designers incorporated a little 100 into the lens. The 2005 GT features a 5.4 liter supercharged V8 and has almost double the horsepower as the GT40 it's racing. The only advantage the original GT40 has is its weight, weighing almost half a ton less than its modern competitor. The reason the new GT dropped the 40 is because it's wider and also taller than the original GT40, and they didn't want to call it the Ford GT43. This particular GT is owned by YouTuber Doug DeMiro, and Doug will also be driving it alongside the 1967 GT40. This is Doug DeMiro, and today I am here with the Peterson Museum at an airstrip to do a little drag race. I'm gonna race new versus old. This is my 2005 Ford GT, and I'm going to drag race it against this Ford GT40, which frankly sounds absolutely terrifying, and it is. So, let's see what happens. Okay, now there's a couple interesting things here. For one thing, the, the helmet is not, I mean, they got this little cutout for your head, but it's not incredibly comfortable with a helmet on. So I'm like kind of bending over. But also I'm lining up next to a two and a half million dollar car. This is so scary. I have done an enormous amount of drag racing in my life all over the country, but I've never lined up. You know, when I was doing this in rural Georgia, we didn't line up next to two and a half million dollar cars. So. This is a little nerve-wracking, especially in the GT, which is known for getting a little squirrely, but I think I'll be okay. I'm certainly going to take it easy on the first run. <laughs> As predicted, I got sideways. and get going, but I was wrong. 
you you just have to either be totally warm or just be really careful and so i've decided i guess on the next one to be really careful i ran a 14.4 i mean i was just nervous there's no way to avoid being nervous because the car has already proven to me that it's ready to get squirrely <laughs> and i got a two and a half million dollar car next to me so i'm terrified I'm gonna have to try a little bit better next time to modulate the start and then even if I get a little squirrely to stay in it once it straightens out and just start going. But that's easier said than done when you have an original Ford GT40 next to you. It's like absolutely terrifying, in fact. That's not something I really wanna do is stay in it. Yeah, just do it, I don't, I don't know. A very competent driver could run this car, I think to like a 12 something quarter mile. I'm not a very competent driver, especially when there's two and a half million dollars next to me. That is absolutely terrifying in every capacity. to 60 and 5 because of the hookup. Oh well, I'm not going to do it again. I've proven that the car is fast. And boy is it ever, and man does it feel robust. I feel like I could go with this car all day long. It's the thing I like most about this car. It's a supercar, but it's just tremendously, incredibly, unbelievably capable and ready to just go and go and go. Okay, so there you go. That's the results of drag racing the newer Ford GT against the original Ford GT40. This car obviously a lot faster, but that was a completely terrifying experience for me given the value of this car, but still a once in a lifetime opportunity to get my Ford GT literally next to an original GT40 drag racing. It was just incredibly, incredibly cool, even if we knew what the outcome would be beforehand. Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure and hit the like button and subscribe.